days, it's, I'm like, oh, okay, wow. <laughs> no use telling you, brother, since we're fucking five, you know? Um, so it was just a different thing in high school. So at university, I signed up for a class, uh, and I just fell in love with it. I mean, uh, you know, I wrote a piece of children's theater, I moved out to L.A., uh, and uh, yes, the rest of the street. You're very far away from here right now. So it's for, for a chick, you know? <laughs> right? Chick. Always. Yeah, exactly. Always. <laughs> Is there any other reason to get up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so does somebody have a burning question out there that you, they need to have answered? Yes, right there. What got you interested in acting in the Devil's Carnival? Say that again? What got you act? What inspired you to go and act in the Devil's Carnival? I was John. Darren Balsman. Ring. Woo. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Where? Riverside? Are we starting to week? All right, cool. See ya. <laughs> it's Bouchman, you know what I mean? It's, uh, and uh, Terrence, and they, 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 they did repo. I don't know if you guys know. They did repo. Yeah. Yeah. They called, they said, hey, we're doing another one. It's going to be funky. It's going to be cool. It's going to be circus. It's going to be some bizarre clowns and weird shit. We're going to shoot at Riverside in a week. I was like, fucking cool. <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of it. I don't, I don't have a big tricky story. It was just like that. You know, Bousman, who did a couple of saws and whatnot, so I met him from doing the saws. And uh, that was it, man. But that was a trippy, trippy, trippy little set. I don't know if you guys know her name of the stories. How, how many people saw The Devil's Carnival? Wow, so good selection. So check, it out. check it out. We're shooting in Riverside. And uh, I guess the equivalent would be The Hammer. You know, to y'all. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, right. I'm a local. Do you get to go to Toronto because you shot Conduct Saints here, or partially here? Yeah, but uh, also a, a, a buddy of mine has a, a jiu-jitsu academy out in Hamilton, Jeff Jocelyn. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a buddy of mine. I frequent Hamilton quite a bit. As a matter of fact, if you look at martial arts, Bruce Jocelyn's out there. That's martial arts academy probably oh, in, in uh, just about the country. It happens to be in Hamilton. I know that's fucking bizarre. But <laughs> anyway, um, so we're shooting in Riverside, which is like a little different city. It's like, I don't know, it's like the crystal meth capital of the world or some shit. <laughs> so one day we're shooting, we all break for lunch, and everybody has their laptops right by what they call a video village where they're monitoring the shooting and everything. And a couple of these kids, like 16, 17, 18, they run by, they steal the, the laptops, and they start hauling ass. <laughs> and literally, a movie people were like, oh my god, they just, I was like, fuck, you motherfucker, look up. Oh, you 17 year old little piece of shit. <laughs> Is there any kids in here, first of all? <laughs> Shit up right now. We're bringing him in. You knew this shit was gonna get dirty. So these little slimy fucks take off and start running. They run in their house, right? In some weird little cracked in house. Nothing. Some fucking greasy little fucking toothless dude <laughs> opens the door. I was like, dude, some dudes ran in here, the laptops, what the fuck's going on? No, dude, I don't know, there's no kids in here. Anyway, we call the cops, the cops sit out there for like 10 minutes going, we can't come in, we don't have a warrant. I'm like, I'm your warrant, motherfucker, I saw them going in <laughs> I saw it. I'm not thinking, maybe, there's five houses, maybe it's this one. I saw that shit. Oh, well, we gotta wait and get a fuck off, man. <laughs> so anyway, finally I'm talking to, finally the cops go in. They knock on the door. A, a different dude opens the door and say, no, there's no kids in. Meanwhile, five kids are walking by in the background. I'm like, there's five kids walking in. <laughs> what do you mean there's no kids? We can see them, motherfucker. Obviously, he's on like crack crystal meth or some shit. He's like, he probably thinks they're just apparitions, but the kids are That's a true It's a true shit. Basalt's exactly right. So these kids are in the back. So finally, they go in. They search the house. They find nothing. I'm like, okay, there's somewhere. Where's in the backyard? They probably find, they're in a backyard somewhere. When you look behind the fence, they had thrown them over the back fence, these little slimy fucks. <laughs> you know, you guys laugh, but it had all my fucking footage on it. I don't want to reshoot that shit. <laughs> like, no, 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 it's okay. It's like, I'm like, fuck, that's okay. We, we, we have to shoot this. We can't reshoot it all. So anyway, we got the footage. The rest is history. And, uh... Maybe we save some little crack lives. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. But uh, it's a kind of wacky story, man. They just grabbed him and started running. Like we wouldn't see him. <laughs> no, there's no kids in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Um, what was it like working on Suicide Kings with uh, Dennis Leary and Christopher Walken and that whole gang? It was cool, man. It 
was cool. I mean, walking, he's a... Walk is a cool cat. You know, here's the deal. It's like one, one, one of my favorite quotes in thespian land is, "It's better to be interesting than realistic." You know what I mean? And Walk is a killer actor, but who, honest to God, who here would not go, "What the fuck, dude?" If you ever met a dude for the first time, he's like, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> no shit, right? It's why I'm here. But it's funny because if you transcribe everything that he's saying, he's totally saying it normal. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to the 7-Eleven going, hey, do you guys have the Gatorade without any sugar? So if I say it like that, nobody thinks twice about it. He's like, hey, they have any Gator? Hey, without the sugar. And that's fucking weird, right? starts to lose its weird cadence. And you start to lose these weird, bizarre fucking pauses in the middle of nowhere. And then you just like listen to what he's saying, he becomes a real person. I was just like, he'd say something, he'd stop, and I'd go. And then he'd start again. I thought the story was over. Boom, and then it starts again. Super, super cool dude, man. Super cool dude. He's like classically trained. He's like a tap dancer. And, but he's a regular, regular dude. Except in his trailer, he'd always call me in there to run lines. And he took these fucking garlic pills. <laughs> the whole fucking trailer reeked like some He's a good, solid dude. I like that cat. He's a solid individual, man. Who's next? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to get your honest opinion on how you think Boondock Saints, the second one, turned out, and you think uh, there's any chance for a third one in the future. Yeah! Uh, the right and third, choice right and third, three as we speak. <laughs> I was like, no 
shit, Rock. Said, yeah, I was like, you, you bowl? No. <laughs> kicks ass, man. <laughs> I love that shit. And then, like, two days later, they're quoting Nietzsche or something. I was like, whoa! <laughs> Who's next? Yes, yeah, so I'm sure. How was uh, doing powder? How was your experience doing something completely different? Say it again? How was your experience doing something completely different, like powder? Say it one more time. <laughs> how was your experience doing something totally different, like powder? Oh, how was the experience doing something totally different, like powder? Uh, you summed it up in one sentence. It's completely different. You know, when everybody comes, and it's the truth, man. People come back and they're like, hey, what was your favorite film? Hmm, favorite film to make or favorite film to watch once it's completed? Two totally different things. Favorite film to make? Boondock Saints. Because literally, you know, I'm like fucking sheathed up with guns and everything, and I'm like, hey, so uh, listen, let's get a pizza, no basil on that mark. Oh, hey, hang on one second. Action. Mine, fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? Power is a very different thing. It's a very cerebral role. It's, uh, it's not, you know, you're not going out partying with your friends in between takes or after work. But uh, as far as the final product, I'm incredibly proud of that movie. So...